Reality PPACF. This nylon based material is the strongest filament type I ever tested and again I have only one filament in the testing so it will be compared to so called reference material which is very big average from 150 testings. And as always my Patreon supporters have the access to that summary table so they can very easily compare this material to any PPA or other materials I tested earlier. And basically this is my only gift to my Patreon supporters. Back onto my tech farm. In this video I am testing Creality PPACF and this is the strongest filament type I can print myself. And I already tested two other brands, Bamboo Lab and Siraya. And from Siraya actually I tested their core version 2. And soon I will test Kiditech PPA filaments also. Now Creality somehow forgot about my channel. Part of my mistake, I didn't talk too nice about the latest products and they stopped sending me products for the review. But uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters and thanks to the Polymaker who became not only channel sponsor but also I have a budget to buy any filament I want, these kind of videos are possible. If you're not familiar, I earn approximately $10 per video and uh, thanks to the Polymaker and my Patreon supporters, uh, I have much bigger freedom and I can just buy any filament I want to test. I don't depend from the companies if they want to send me or not their products. Few specifications from the website, it contains 15% carbon fibers, it has high strength, low shrinkage, low warping and better dimensional stability and exceptional toughness. Now this latest one, yes it is tougher compared to the PLA or PTG, but overall it is a relative brittle material compared to the just average ABS. And it has low water absorption compared to the regular nylons. Print settings. Print temperature between 280 and 300 degrees Celsius and I will not even print the temperature tower because uh, other filaments are already tested on 300 degrees Celsius and that's what I will do with this filament too. Uh, bed temperature between 90 and 105 degrees Celsius. Print speed 100 millimeters per second, that's approximately 8 cubic millimeters per second flow. And drying conditions 80 degrees Celsius between 8 to 12 hours. And a close printing is required. Let's see what's in the box. This is very good packaging, it protects better the flame from the moisture and here also we have the basic information, spring temperature between 280 and 300 degrees Celsius. And this bag is resealable but on the shorter side. Let's see what's inside. We have a plastic spool and with a small sticker with minimal information. The filament itself is very brittle like other PPSCF filaments. And I started the drying at approximately 100 degrees Celsius, this is a little bit more than the maximum recommended. For filament it is ok, but for this pool this was almost too much, look how it changed the color and also the sticker. And I continued the drying on 70 degrees Celsius and the printing will be from this filament dryer. Let's see the settings in the slicer. The temperature 300 degrees Celsius, 8 will be the maximum flow and this is the part cooling. I'm using engineering plate with some glue on it and of course printing will be inside enclosure. The start of the printing is good but I already printed this filament several times. Last few vertical imprinted test objects. Printing is finished. They look really nice and the glue really helps with the bed adhesion. The stiffness is big advantage of this material and actually these holders will replace aluminum in this case. I noticed one more thing and I think it is important to mention. Uh, I printed this functional part later and I noticed quite big overexposure, especially it is visible on the top surface, but also we can see it on the side surface too, especially in the top. And I measured the length of these test objects and I really tried to measure above the elephant foot 80.49, almost half millimeter bigger than designed. This is also measured above the elephant foot, this is printed in this position, and again half millimeter bigger than in design. And I know that this is not normal, I can compare it even now because I have several PPA materials test in the progress. I checked the filament diameter and on some point it is slightly bigger, I'm not sure, I mean this is 0.04 millimeters bigger in diameter. But only on some points, I'm not sure is this really normal and is this casing this problem. The result is not always so bad. My test objects are sod inside, but if we use some infill less than 100%, in that case the material has space to go. 
10 side tests with horizontally printed objects. This is very strong. Layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects. This is good too. Extremely strong tensile strength and basically 30% more than the second strongest material, but this time it has a strength along the z-axis too, great layer adhesion. Shear test and these are printed in vertical position where the layer adhesion is important. And for horizontally printed I have to switch the equipment. I don't really like this crank scale, it don't shows the peak of one movement. I have to analyze the footage digitally. Because of this type of material I am forced to use my old equipment which can measure above 200 kg, but vertically printed is also stronger than average horizontally printed material. The torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test object and because of that over extrusion I had to use a sandpaper on the sides so it can fit into this torque meter. This is horizontally printed. Two point four vertically printed. Two point nine. Usually a vertically printed test object breaks more suddenly, but in this case both types. Extremely strong in both printed positions. These printed vertically have the same dimensions, but in this case it was slightly stronger. Impact test with this half kilogram hammer. Zero position. And I already saw this kind of break with this type of the material earlier. The distance from zero position is 28 millimeters. And from this I can calculate the breaking energy. And this is the only test where this material is weaker compared to the reference filament. It is more brittle which is typical for carbon fiber reinforced materials. Three point bending test. And these loads will be placed one by one and I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is a deformation under 2.5 kg, under 5 kg and absolutely no additional deformation during the time under given load, not even under 10 kg, extremely stiff material. And this we can see if we compare it even with the reference material, lower values are better, less deformation but also no additional deformation during the time. Temperature test in the oven and I have several experiments in the progress but these are all PPA based materials and I believe that this will be the most useless temperature test I ever did because I think I've reached the maximum temperature of this equipment and there will be no deformation. This is end of the time lapse video and it was extremely hard to notice any start of the deformation but analyzing the footage it was approximately at 220 degrees Celsius. Interesting after this test I can see some micro deformation on each of them. The biggest is on the fetus and then on the glass fiber kiddy. Other three are very similar. Additionally only on the creality version I can see some changes on the surface on these two ends. On the other four everything is okay here. And from the bottom all five looks fine, even the creality. The creep test the deformation of the constant load and I have several tests in the progress. 12.94 This is the last fifth day, let's measure them. 13.15 These are directly measured values, the distance between two reference surfaces and the deformation is very minimal, not only compared to the reference material but to any other material and the difference between two days is the creeping which is extremely minimal in this case. All results one more time without any additional comments. And this one line will be added to that summary table for my Patreon supporters so they can very easily compare this data to any of those which I did in earlier videos and huge thanks to them because basically they keep this channel alive. PPSCF is still the strongest filament type I can print myself and this reality is no exception. Extremely strong in X and Y direction but this time also along the Z axis too, great layer adhesion which is very important for me. It's a little bit brittle material like uh, many similar materials I tested so far, but it is still tougher compared to the regular PTG for example. 
Now I don't really like this over extrusion which appears when I print solid objects. Uh, maybe this is just a temporary failure in the filament, bigger diameter, I'm not really sure. Now about the drying. I think reality should take more seriously material of the spool, because uh, yes, nylon we can dry on 70 or 80 degrees Celsius, but depend on the start moisture. For this we need several days, sometimes even a week, and I measured this actually, and it's not just guessing, and on 120 degrees Celsius we can dry it in several hours. But of course for this we need that kind of spool. Maybe some cardboard spool is better for this. Uh, of course in this case they should pay attention to the glue which they are using so it can withstand these high temperatures too. But I think it's a better solution in this case. This was my experience with the Creality PPA CF filament and a big thanks to the Polymaker and to my Patreon supporters because they make this kind of videos possible. And if you have some other experience with this material, write me down a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and Happy printing!